Welcome back to part four of setting up the Power Platform Center of Excellence. In this video, we are going to cover something that's optional, but for the sake of the video series, we're going to go along as if we want to configure anything and everything. So essentially what this is going to allow us to do is that when we're within the command admin command center app that comes as part of the center of excellence, when we click on messages, we'll be able to load in messages from the Microsoft 365 message center and messages specifically that are related to the power platform. So to get to this point, there's a few configuration touch points. If you want to do it, I'm doing air quotes at the moment, but if you want to do it proper, we're also going to involve an Azure key vault, which I think is a really good habit to get into anyway. So first things first, we're also going to come into setup and we're going to look at three specific, well, two technically, but there are three command center environment variables. There's two that you'll specify depend one that you'll always specify, which is going to be the application slash client ID of the app registration that has the necessary API permissions to query Microsoft 365 service messages. You'll always specify that. And then you've got the optional, are we just going to specify secret or are we going to specify a reference to a secret that's stored within an Azure key vault? So basically, we're not having to specify essentially that secret in plain text. So to get the bits that we need to populate these environment variables, first, we're going to start off with the application client ID. So the first thing we would do, we would come into Azure, we would go to app registrations, I've already created one ahead of time, but you would create a new registration. We're calling ours COE Command Center. And at its core, the main thing that this is, is doing is having something that, that has the necessary permissions to make IP, A, IP, API, sorry, I can't get my words out then, calls to a particular service. So you don't want to just go crazy and add API permissions left, right, and center. We want it on point specific. So here we would add a permission. We would select Microsoft Graph, delegated permissions, I believe in this case, although ignore me because I'm thinking of, of as if we've selected the Dynamics CRM option. So we'll come here. We've actually got delegated an application. So we'll click on delegated first. We'll filter it down by typing service message should do it. So we want service message dot read dot all. We would then do the same for application permissions and the user dot read was, was the default. Once you've added in those API permissions, you would then click on grant admin consent, which is going to light up these green checks. And then we're going to want to, you could do this by way of certificate as well, just to call out, which again, arguably is the better option over secrets, but we, we've got secrets. Uh, so you create new client secret, give it a description, give it an expiration. Again, good habit to not let these exist for too long. Um, once we've got the secret, we would copy that secret and at this point, we would click on overview, and this is where we've got the application client ID, and that's what we've specified in this variable and environment variable here. Enter, save, job done. Now, to get the client, the key vault reference, we're first going to want to. So again, in Azure, we're going to come over to key vaults. We've got our Power Platform. Philips COE key vault, you would come to secrets, you would click on generate, you would essentially give it a name, enter the secret that we pasted, uh, that we copied, sorry, create. And now to get the reference in a valid format, 
I tend to come to the key vault, click on properties. You would copy all of this where you've got resource ID. You would make a note of the name of the secret entry, so COE. And then in the admin app, we would paste Well, I've noticed it's actually shortened that, so we might not have to. Ah, no, ignore me. That's just a bogus entry. That wouldn't that wouldn't be valid for our purposes. That's another thing as well. Just just be mindful that when you update some of these variables, you you would have to essentially turn off and turn on flows for the the new values to be picked up. But for this, we would essentially paste in what we got from properties. And we would then append on the end of it uh, secrets and then the name, which was COE in our case. It will tell you if it's not happy with the format, but here we can see that it's successfully done. We click, but I've already clicked save, but won't we have to click save again and we'll know that it's worked because when we click on here as we showed at the beginning of video we will see messages so i'll leave that video here again it's an optional element but we're going to go through all of them thank you for watching